Yeah. You want to be a what? A travel vlogger? Steve. Steve, 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 Steve. I can't be your friend anymore. F*** off. I did this animation myself, you can probably tell. I'm Jack, it's my girlfriend Lana, and uh, I'm taking her on her first backpacking experience. Anyway, even though you can buy a sleeper train ticket to Sofia up to 60 days in advance, you can't buy it online. So our first task was heading for Sakesi Station in the Fatih district of Istanbul. We knew where the station was, so it wouldn't be hard to get there, literally right next to this red marker. And then we got lost. Like, very lost. We kept walking down the same streets because Google Maps was being a dick. As it turns out, the train station was around the only corner we didn't check. <sighs> it's the first day. Uh, we gotta buy a ticket to Sofia now. Not a clue where to go. Somewhere. This way. Ticket office. That's pretty self-explanatory. Travel tip. Read English. Okay, I asked where to buy tickets for the Sofia Express and she went just around the corner. So it's always worth having a look rather than queuing just to ask a simple question. <laughs> okay, so we got the tickets. A few things to consider. One, you can't pay with debit card, which is a pain in the ass. Only credit card or cash. And two, the cash machines opposite the train station, which are, um, well, that's the station. And they're just over there. Um, not all of them work and some have massive markups. I can't remember which one I used. Figure it out because everyone's cards are different, aren't they? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Good old steam train. I bet that was a conker back in the day. Oh, you're gonna steal my food, aren't you? <laughs> Hello, you little cutie. What's your name? Exactly. <laughs> His, name <laughs> His name is Meow. His name is Meow. Oh God, you are absolutely beautiful, aren't you? Only cute. Don't eat me. Right, anyway, back to more important things. The burger. Actually, no, the cat's more important. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, so these are like steamed burgers. Uh, they're kind of like tomato -y meatball in bread. How is it? It's good. Yeah? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice, yeah. She's not just saying that for the camera. They are actually pretty banging, to be <laughs> honest. Well, I'm sure I swear to God, these are brilliant. They cost 80. I was just talking the mouthful. They cost 80 Turkish lira, so that's what, like, I don't know, £2.50. Totally worth it. Friends. Hello. So adorable. Guys, just come to Istanbul, if, especially if you love cats. It's amazing. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. 
So we're still in uh, Faith, Sultan so um, Matt. I, I really need to learn how to pronounce these places and also know where I am. But we're about to go into an Egyptian spice bazaar, which looks just absolutely mental. And I bet it smells glorious. But nothing like this in England. How bizarre. <laughs> Shut up, Jack. Yeah, it's basically just the market. It's exactly what I thought it would be. I don't want to sound like a dick, but everyone comes here and they're like, oh my God, it's so amazing. It's like, it's all right, you know? It's just all right. Don't know what to do now. Oh, Jesus, that's way bright. Hello. Look at that, look. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we need to find some Turkish delight. So we need to try a lot of stuff. There is some in there, I think. Well, there's baklava. What's that? What, is that just Back like... Back it's like the pastry stuff with the... Oh, right, yeah. I'll cut it to more interesting. All right, we're skipping the baklava and the uh, Turkish delight for now. We're getting a kebab, I think. Hopefully, pita, kebab, donut. I don't know, we just found a place. So we'll give it a go. It's, uh, it's this one. Yeah, should be pretty nice. There is some squeeze pass here. So they have an English menu. Let's come upstairs so we'll see what it's like. Right, let's see what we got. Oh nom 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 nom. Oh god they have a lot. That looks amazing. I tell you what, I feel really bad for not speaking any Turkish whatsoever, but they all speak. Yeah, exactly, they all speak English. So they don't Communication issue. Yeah. I mean, you know. The only one was like this morning what I said about water, and she was like, I have no clue. It was probably my accent. Yeah. I just like, I didn't think that I just went. They don't understand Welsh. She's Welsh, by the way, everyone. Wales is a country next to England. Because apparently not a lot of people know that, so. Man, but yeah, we'll see what this is like. So we're very thank good. You. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so first time drinking iron. Iran. <laughs> She's gonna like it. Go on, give it a go. Oh, that's really um. Not for you. <laughs> yeah, not for me. <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. It's a bit salty. <laughs> salty. Milk. You'll see what I mean. I love that. Yeah. yeah, it's like a yogurt drink with salt, basically. <laughs> but it's nice, it is really nice, I like it. Oh, it's refreshing. Mm. I'll just stick with my Fanta. Yeah, you can have the Fanta, you feel just such a foreign animal. Tourist. There she is. A sausage and cheese pita. Come back. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it's like. It's obviously going to be tasting amazing. We decided to get a ferry to the Asian side of Istanbul and explore what people call the hipster area. You get the ferry from, yeah, here. It's definitely worth taking a ferry in Istanbul and soaking up the views and it only costs about 12 Turkish Lira, which is about half a dollar.
Unfortunately, when we got to the Asian side, we were so hot and tired and dehydrated, we decided to go back to the hotel for a shower before meeting my friend later that evening. Ah, that's the largest mosque in Turkey. And fuck me, look at the size of that flag. I forgot to bring my DJI Pocket 2 out with me in the afternoon, but I had my phone. We explored around Istaklal Avenue, Istakla, Istaklal Avenue, one of the many popular tourist areas. Top tip, if you want to get some cheap food, go in the back alleys. Don't go on the main strip, it's bloody overpriced. Our last destination of the day was checking out Galata Port, a shopping district for cruise passengers and the general public. It's pretty upmarket and thankfully bloody clean. And then to finish off the day, we got stuck on one of the underground funicular lines and I had to convince a woman not to let her son smash the fucking window. What an adventure. She was looking at me like, oh, but when is the right time to know if we should smash the window and get out? And I'm like, look, are you on fire? No, you're not on fire. And loads of people were getting scared and I wanted to put on a brave face because Alana was getting scared and I didn't want her to see that I was scared so she'd get even more scared. Oh, hang on a minute, the video's ended. <laughs> 